You know, one of my favorite things to see in other countries are markets, especially the outdoor markets. So that's where we're headed today. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? Who's this lurking in the market? Uh, <laughs> Go Ducks! <laughs> yes! <laughs> University of Oregon, class 2001. DirtyRadishTravel.com <laughs> We'll throw a link in down. Thanks. Down there. Down, down there. somewhere. Dirty down there. DirtyRadish.com I learned to type on these. What are those? <laughs> they are the cool way of typing. If you make a mistake, there's a lot of work involved. <laughs> This market is awesome. They've got like classic typewriters and vinyl and homemade honey. Something Kate and I really loved in Macau were the inlaid mosaic sidewalks. Yeah. They're even so. better here in the home of them. It's a ship. Mercado, it was down south somewhere, but they redid or redoing the entire structure and it's supposed to be absolutely beautiful. It's not done yet. They said it'll be another year, so they have moved it into here. So we're going into this one. This is a really cool market and the apples look really good. This is the perfect market lunch. A little bit of ham, a little bit of sheep's cheese, some fruit. Last of my sandwich. It's a good sandwich. The bread was really good. And we always bring our own water. And sometimes our own rosy. <laughs> I didn't have sausage today. <laughs> Never know what you're going to see sitting around Porto. Where to now? That way. We're going to check out the Garden of the Crystal Palace. You can even see the ocean right there. Oh, he's cute. Oh, wow. He's longer than I thought he was. Time it is? I don't have a watch. Noon? You wish. It's time to check out a new grocery store. Well, for starters, they got the cool carts that go in every direction. Okay, you have to have the handle in. Salted cod everywhere. This place has got everything you could ever want. I'd say this grocery store is a 10. That was a very cool grocery store. But I have to revise my number system because I was in the, the deli and the bread, which always makes it higher. But by the time I got done with the whole thing, I'd probably give it a six. It didn't have a warm feel where you were like, wow, look at all this stuff. It was just very basic. Now let's go drop this stuff off at the room and get some lunch. We found our lunch place. <laughs> I love the place because the menu has pictures. Katie's trying to ignore her spurned lover right there behind her. It's gonna happen. We should have taken a picture of it last night. The line for it was all the way in, completely full inside, and all the way out to the trees. We're gonna have to figure out what it was. It was a whole bunch of kids. Yeah, you just figured it out. It was a whole bunch of kids. So yeah, that was McDonald's and they have Sundays. Yeah, but they were dressed in robes and they had numbers on them. So we're going to have to ask K K Kia? Kika. We're going to have to ask Kika tonight to explain it to us. It was just the start of the new year at Hogwarts. That's what it looked like. And there were different groups of them and some of them were repeating things. I thought it 
was some kind of hazing or something. We gotta find out what it was. So until then, they're going to Hogwarts. No, no, please. Guys, pita. I have a donor kebab plate, so it's everything but the pita. Oh my God, pita, pita. And I have a kebab. Mm, that was really good. I hit the spot. It's pretty much everything in his and mine. It's thin sliced uh, chicken, and then it has salad, and it has a korma or the white sauce, tzatziki. And it's, uh, of course, wrapped up in a flour tortilla. I could stick a couple of these in my backpack and be very happy. I can't say this is the best meal I've had since we've been here, but it's delicious. What I can say is this is the most repeatable meal we've had since we've been here. It's tasty, it's filling, and it's not expensive. A couple of the other meals we had were just absolutely delicious, but not something you could eat every day. I could eat this every day for lunch. And they have an extensive menu, so you can eat a variety of different things. Might have to try the kebab pizza. That's a wrap on lunch. It's laundry day. This should be an adventure. It's the first time I'm using these machines. This is gonna be interesting. Load it and close the door. process that everything's on there. You do have to pay in cash. You can buy a card at that machine right there, which makes it about a buck fifty cheaper per load, but I don't know if we're gonna do enough loads in the month that we're in Portugal to make it worth that. So we just pay in cash. That's a second door on the left. Not second floor on the left, as I made the mistake when we got here. Carried our bags up two floors and then realized, oops, back down. That's a bunch. Let's go to the kitchen. It's pretty low, but it's really comfy. Great little library to come up and chill out in. Tons of common areas, bar, because you know how we like to party. Talk about a stylish little kitchen truck. More living area. Reception. Even a little market right down here at reception. Hello. <laughs> now see, he, he backed out, he said, and the most good looking person work at reception. Oh yeah. <laughs> All of the staff here has been absolutely amazing. And let me guess, you're from Porto? I am from Porto. Something we are loving about this place is that all of the staff is local, not part-time backpackers, which is amazing. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I like this man. <laughs> I like this man. Keep drinking this coffee. Leave <laughs> the, the thumbs, thumbs up and subscribe. subscribe. No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>